Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, geez, I guess it's another two weeks since I did a video. Sorry, been busy, as always. Lots, lots going on. A couple of bumps, lots of lumps, but <laughs> I'm here and uh, got a couple of things to show everybody here, okay? Uh, Tom, you've been waiting on this video for a long time. Mark II, I got both of your knives here. Um, lots of other guys I'm working on at the same time, of course, but... There it is, Tom. It's hard to get it all in the frame. There we go. <laughs> this is one of my uh, mini teeny weeny scout sheaths, and uh, it has a different kind of knife in it. And I, I think I showed something in the picture of the knife there in a couple of videos past, but uh, all right, here it comes. And of course, there's you know the little ferrule rod on the side there too. So you know, okay, yeah, got that on there too. Okay, look at that little guy. Yep, pretty cool, huh? I know, I know, I know. It's uh, it's, it's kind of a bird and trout knife, you know, if, if you want to call it that. It's uh, just a it's just a nice little tiny tiny knife. Feels good in the hand. It's got a swedge on there and everything. Hang on a second, what the hell? I can never remember the sizes of these things. Jeez, <clears throat> especially when I go on camera, it's just you know everything goes out the window. What the hell? Uh, seven and a half inches long, and the blade is. Yeah, three and three quarters. I actually have a couple more. Uh, uh, yeah, I got uh, two, three more of these uh, to make. Now that's a walnut handle. Okay, a uh, little, little darker than usual. Okay, just happened to be the piece that I had. But um, Tom, I hope you like it. That's uh, that's the bird beak, bird's beak on the end. Kind of a classic uh, handle end to it. There, really, really nice, nice knife. So these. These, like, like you see there, dog. Figure she'd wake up just about the time I'm making a video. <laughs> uh, now, these aren't, like I said, they aren't that big. And the sheath, uh, that pocket right there, there's not an awful lot of room in there. Because you, you can't make a big sheath for a little tiny little knife like that. That just, you know, that wouldn't look right. Um, but it's enough to put matches in or fishing stuff, fire starting stuff. You know, it's... Um, and it is a scout sheath, like I said, so you can you can pop the uh, pop those those straps off, slide your belt through there, and wear it on your back. I don't know if most guys would want to use it like that, but uh, you can put it on. It would probably be better. Hang on a second. There we go. Probably be better to to strap it on a pack if you're not going to have it on your belt. But it does have the belt loop there. Okay. So you got you know, and you know that shot cord thing. That kind of not so much of an issue with a small knife, you know, because it's it's not going to really cut that that strap. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's the whole idea. That thing gets out of the way when you pull the knife out, so it doesn't cut the strap. But I make it so you can replace those anyway, if you had to. All right, Tom. Like I said, that one's yours. And I got a couple of these for you too. Uh, this one they're drying, of course. I haven't put the um, the pull straps on there yet, and the antlers antler. Uh, things and all you know <laughs> you bought that other one thank you and these will be those will be going out here next week after the holiday now i have another one okay same thing but this one's in tiger that one was in walnut i think i said that yeah okay <laughs> um same same deal pop the strap off there now yeah, oh man look at that i keep every piece of tiger i don't care how well not all that small. I mean, if I can, if I think I can get a, a handle out of it, I'm going to, I'm going to save it. You know, even when a small one comes along, like, jeez, God, look at the tiger on that thing. I mean, what, whew, when you got a piece of tiger like that, I mean, what's, what's, what's better than that, really? Oops. <clears throat> yeah, well, anyway. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah. Oops. No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm just, uh, it's just a video. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I know. I, I know there, no, there's nothing else that, yeah. 
Okay, yeah, I'm I'm gonna be there. Don't worry. I I know your your video is important and your you know new dance moves and everything. I, I know it, it's. Don't worry. I'll be there tomorrow right after Pilates. Well, you know I need to loosen up before I do all those moves. There, it's just I'm not as young as I used to be. I can't move like that. I, you know, those those dance moves are gonna kill me. I, yeah, no, don't, don't worry. I'll be there. Okay. Me too. All right. Bye now. A little emotional. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, back to the knife. So, like I said, there we get another picture there. Now, I'm going to be making some more of these. Like I said, I got some on order. up. <sighs> filling back orders, like I say, I say all the time. And I am, so I make up extra ones if I can. We have enough time, which, you know, you know how that can go. And uh, we'll have them up on the site. No um, no limited runs for the time being, like I said, uh, in the last one. Uh, just catching up on back orders. Is everybody out there waiting on their knives? It'll be on there. Um... Oh, sorry. Mark, this one's yours, by the way. <laughs> okay. It's... Um... Yeah, and then, of course, your ammo pouches, too, and everything. So, Mark, we'll be um, talking to you here soon, and those will be shipped out next week. Um, I hope you like it, because, boy, I sure do. I don't know. Yeah, every once in a while, you know, you have one you wouldn't, don't want to give up. But that's okay. That's all right. Hey, okay, lots going on. Like I said, um, George, yours is um, coming up here soon, that big one, that big-ass knife, that one. That one's coming. I'll be talking to you here soon. And all your other ones that you got on order to. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. And you know what time it is, don't you? Yeah. Okay. There it is. Yes. Anyhow. All right. Uh, short video today. Uh, thanks for everybody for uh, liking and subscribing. Please, please do that if you haven't already. I uh, really appreciate all the... All the uh, activity on my site or we're, we're getting close like i said all the time we're getting closer to those super super fan numbers there and badges and all that stuff to go along with it and uh on a more serious note uh everybody thank you uh for our veterans out there uh this is memorial day weekend coming up thank you for your service uh tom i know you're a veteran thank you thank you for what you've done um my father-in-law who's no longer with us any longer was a uh a Vietnam and Korean veteran. My dad was was uh, served as well. Neither one of them, unfortunately, are with us any longer, but we honor their memory and all you veterans out there that have, uh, have served our country. Thank you. Thank you. And that flag right there is flying on the front of my barn right now, my shop. Okay. Thanks, everybody, again. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again.